Hey guys, Hilton here with Yellow Sky Actions, and I had another photographer um, actually uh, send me an image. Um, her name is Lee Williams. Thank you so much, Lee. Uh, we appreciate it uh, for sending this image in. Um, I saw this image, and I said I have got to um, mess with this image. Um, I love it. So here's the image. We're going to be working in Photoshop CS3 through CS5 with our, using our big bundle set. And what a great image. Lee, you did a fantastic job. I just want you to know that. Um, this image was shot with the 5D Mark II uh, using a 70 to 200 um, F2 L lens. F2.8, sorry, L lens. And Lee, I mean, the exposure is right on. Um, but I'm going to just tweak it just a little bit and um, show you um, using the actions you used uh, to um, get a better look. So here's the before, and then here's what we're going to end up with. So it's just a little bit of a different, um, it's more warming, a little more vibrant. Uh, got that flare back here to give it more dimension, to really draw your eye. Um, to the um, to the subject. So again, here's the before, and then here's the after. Um, again, really the exposure is right on, so we didn't have to do too much with it. Um, and let's get started. So <clears throat> the first thing we're going to run is an action called Justinated, which is in within our smoking effects um, set. So we're going to run it. And as you can see, it is a little, a lot too much, um, in my opinion. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag this action down to 30%. And you know, that's so much better right there. You still have the dimension back here. The greens are more vibrant. What we're going to do, I want to bring her skin tones back to the way it was before. So we're going to click this mask. It's white mask, black foreground, brush, and we're going to brush off at brush opacity around 25, 24, 25% to really bring those, those skin tones back right there. There we go. Okay, so the next action we're going to run is an action within the smoking effects set called Sunny Flare. Takes a few minutes to load. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click on this mask because, again, this is too much. All you need is just a little bit. A little bit goes a long way, guys. Um, so click on this white mask. Make sure the foreground's black. Um, we're going to... Right there is perfect. 24% is good. I would actually drag it down to 20% brush opacity, 17 to 20%. And we're just going to brush off the subject. And that's looking good right there. That's looking perfect right there. Um, we're going to bring these tones back um, in her beautiful complexion. Um, so the next step we're going to run an action in the colors set called Georgia Peach. Gives it a warm, a darker warm tone, but again, this is a little too much. Um, and we're going to drag this down to 25%. Just a hint of warmth. Remember, guys, too much of something. Um, too much of a good thing uh, can go can go south very fast. It's always good just to, you know, just just a little bit, just a little touch of, of, of something, you know, can really make an image pop and take it to the next level. So that's Georgia Peach at 25%. And then here we go. We're going to go to the last step. Um, 
Well, I threw in Georgia Peach because, Lee, I know that you you use Sunny Flare and Justinated, but I wanted to give it just a little more of that warmth, so I just threw that in there for you. Um, another action that I wanted to use is called Soft Brush. All right. Now, this is a... Uh, I wanted it to really soften the background so the foreground, the subject really pops out at you and I'm going to soften this area down here um, again because you know you want the eye, I'm going to take this up to 100% brush opacity and you want the eye to really uh, go to that focal point. Um, so here we go. Remember black mask, white foreground for those of you who don't know um, and we're just going to brush it and it's just subtle. Right there, guys. And that's it. So here's the before, and here's the after. It just gives it that umph. That, that that photo needs. Um, again, thank you so much, Lee. You're awesome. You're the bomb. Um, hopefully other photographers will benefit from this. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to post under this post under the forum. Um, you guys have a uh, swell day.